بسم اللہ الرحمن الرحیم السلام علیکم اسٹوڈنٹس آئی ایم یور ٹیچر علیہ بطول ود لیکچر نمبر سیون ان دا پریویس لیکچر ہم نے ڈیٹا بیس لینگویجز کو دیکھا اینڈ ڈیٹا ڈکشنری کو کافی اچھے سے دیکھا اس کی ٹائپس کو دیکھا ٹوڈیز لیکچر از دا اینٹیٹی ریلیشن شپ ماڈل لیٹ سی ٹوڈیز ریویو اینٹیٹی ریلیشن شپ ماڈل students uh, today we are going to study the er diagram or uh, by listening this lecture you will get the essential knowledge and skills about er diagrams and database design because the le lecture name lecture topic is entity relationship model and in this lecture we will uh, explain discuss entity relationship model and er models entity relationship diagrams uh, i think you will uh, learn things like what is erd why erd and erd el uh, elements or components and how to draw this erd and uh, next we will see what is uh, uh, an er diagram uh, before we starting this slide number 1 uh, if first of all what is an entity relationship diagram like this is also known as erd or er diagram or er model uh, this is a type of structural diagram for use in database design and erd contains different symbols and connectors that visualize two important information one the major entities within the system scope and the interrelationship among these entities سو اسٹوڈنٹ ہم اس میں ڈفرنٹ اینٹیٹیز اینڈ ان کا ریلیشنس جو ہے وہ دیکھیں گے بیفور اسٹارٹنگ دس لیکچر میں ایک دفعہ پھر آپ کو تھوڑا سا اینٹیٹی ریلیشن شپ ماڈل کا جو آپ نے پہلے پریویس لیکچر میں دیکھا تھا ایک ویو دینا چاہوں گی کہ اینٹیٹی ریلیشن شپ ماڈل از اے لاجیکل ریپرزینٹیشن آف ڈیٹا اٹ ویوز دا انٹائر سسٹم ایز اے کولیکشن آف اینٹیٹیز ریلیٹڈ ٹو ون اینڈ ادر and it is used to describe the elements of a system and their relationship this uh, entity relationship model uh, is introduced by peter chen in 1976 and students uh, uh, this model represents the conceptual of a database along with its entities and relationships in an easy way so let's see what is an entity real world object distinguishable from an uh, from uh, uh, other objects an entity is described in database using a set of attributes you can say an entity is a person place thing or event like aapne practical life mein noun ka word suna hai but you are in databases and so you can say an entity is a person place uh, thing or event for which data is collected and maintained for example a library system library system may contain data about different entities like book and member and a college system may include entities like student teacher and class an entity students is re represented by a rectangle like employees ye samne aapko ek diagram sa sath show ho rahi hai employees the name of the entity is written inside the rectangle and the entity is used in different ways like entity type or entity sets or entity instances so let's see what is entity set a collection of similar entities like all employees this is called entity set set of all entities of a particular entity type in the database at a given point of time is called an entity set for example an entity set student may consist of all students in the university another entity set teacher may consist of all teachers in the university so like uh, uh, these examples all entities in an entity set have the same set of attributes each entity has set has a key and domain key and domain ko hum next mein dekhte hain next you can see relationship abhi humne baat ki thi ki relationship kya hoga 
uh, actually relationship is a logical connection between different entities the entities that participate in a relationship is called participant and the relationship may be between different entities or between an entity and itself a relationship is established on the basis of interaction among these entities for example a relationship exists between a student and teacher because the teacher teaches the student like uh, uh, look at this collection of similar relationships and uh, uh, or association among two or more entities like ye aap dekh sakte hain ki isme diagram mein uh, em employees and departments uh has a relation like work employees works in department like uh, employee name is alia works in pharmacy department this is a pharmacy uh, um, pharmacy project or database so employees employees works in department this is the relation in diamond symbol relationship set collection of similar relationships similar relationships se se abhi humne dekha ke jo relationship aapko isme show ho raha hai participants hain like total hai ek students total mean a relationship is called total if all entities of that entity set may be participants in the relationship a relationship also called partial if some of the entities of that entity set may be participant in the relationship suppose a relationship uh, so, um, like part exists between supplier and part the relationship is total if every part is supplied by a supplier the relationship uh, is partial it is possible if certain parts are available without a supplier so you can say this is a relationship set next you can see key constants of the uh, relation entity relationship model like uh, uh, this is the relations relations you can see in the figure uh, like cons consider works in an employee can works in many department like uh, एक डिपार्टमेंट है फॉर्मेसी का उसमें डिफरेंट जो एम्प्लॉयज हैं वो काम कर रहे हैं अ डिपार्टमेंट हैव मेनी एम्प्लॉयज दिस इज द एग्जांपल ऑफ रिलेशन डिपार्टमेंट एक है और एम्प्लॉयज बहुत ज्यादा हैं एंड इट कॉन्ट्रास्ट इन कॉन्ट्रास्ट ईच डिपार्टमेंट हैज एट मोस्ट वन मैनेजर अकॉर्डिंग टू द की कॉन्स्टेंट ऑन द मैनेजेस लाइक यू कैन सी इन दिस डायग्राम एम्प्लॉयज मैनेजेस डिपार्टमेंट्स बहुत सारे एम्प्लॉयज मिलके मैनेज कर रहे हैं बहुत सारे डिपार्टमेंट्स को लाइक like इसमें डिपार्टमेंट्स नहीं है बल्कि एक डिपार्टमेंट अगर एक डिपार्टमेंट है तो एक डिपार्टमेंट में बहुत से एम्प्लॉयज काम कर रहे हैं सो यू कैन सी इन दिस डायग्राम द रिलेशन बिटवीन एंटिटीज और रिलेशन बिटवीन दीज एम्प्लॉयज एंड डिपार्टमेंट्स वन टू वन वन टू मैनी मैनी टू वन एंड मैनी टू uh many to many students these are the uh, associations or these are the uh, relations between uh, these entities this uh, these uh, relationships are called uh, binary relationships because two entity types do ye do se zyada entities jab isme involve ho rahi hain so this is called binary relationship and uh, four types of binary relationship one uh, one to one relationship uh, relationship uh, like sabse pehle yahan aap dekh sakte hain one to one this type of relationship is used when for each instance in first entity class there is only one instance in the second entity class and for each instance in second entity class there is only one instance in the first entity class uh, like एक एग्जाम्पल में आप देख सकते हैं कि एक एंटिटी जो है वो एक ही डिपार्टमेंट से रिलेट कर रही है लाइक चेयरमैन रन्स डिपार्टमेंट लाइक कंट्री हैज प्रेसिडेंट एंड एन अदर एग्जाम्पल यू कैन से मैनेजर मैनेजेस ब्रांच लाइक एम्प्लॉय मैनेज डिपार्टमेंट एक एम्प्लॉय एक डिपार्टमेंट को मैनेज कर रहा है दिस इज कार्ड वन टू वन रिलेशनशिप एंड अनदर रिलेशनशिप इज वन टू मैनी रिलेशनशिप वन टू मैनी रिलेशनशिप इज यूज्ड व्हेन फॉर ईच इंस्टेंस इन 
first entity class there can be many instances in the second entity class and for each instance in second entity class there is only one instance in the first entity class like you can see example state has city city state and college has department employer employees employee one two many state ek hai बट उसके अंदर सिटीज बहुत सारी हो सकती हैं कॉलेज एक है कॉलेज हैज डिपार्टमेंट्स कॉलेज में बहुत सारे डिपार्टमेंट हो सकते हैं दिस इज वन टू मैनी रिलेशनशिप इंप्लॉयर इंप्लॉयज इंप्लॉई एक इंप्लॉयर बहुत सारे इंप्लॉयज को हायर कर रहा है दिस इज वन टू मैनी रिलेशनशिप थर्ड वन इज मैनी टू वन और मैनी टू जो आपने भी देखा कि मैनी टू वन टू मैनी है इसी का कॉन्ट्रेस्ट इज द मैनी टू वन होगा यू कैन सी फोर्थ रिलेशनशिप इज मैनी टू मैनी टू मैनी मैनी टू मैनी मीन्स दिस टाइप ऑफ रिलेशनशिप इज यूज वेन फॉर ईच इंस्टेंस इन फर्स्ट एंटिटी क्लास देयर कैन बी मैनी इंस्टेंसेज इन द सेकेंड एंटिटी क्लास एंड फॉर ईच इंस्टेंस इन सेकेंड क्लास एंटिटी देयर कैन बी मैनी इंस्टेंस इन द फर्स्ट एंटिटी क्लास एग्जाम्पल यू कैन टेक दिस फ्रॉम स्टूडेंट स्टडीज कोर्स स्टूडेंट मैनी मैनी स्टूडेंट स्टडी मैनी कोर्सेज दिस इज द एग्जाम्पल ऑफ मैनी टू मैनी employee learns skill different employees or many employees learn many skills this is many to many and reader reads books reader many readers it may be many books this is the example of many to many relationship okay let let's uh, start next uh, slide like पार्टिसिपेशन कॉन्स्टेंट्स इस डायग्राम में जो पार्टिसिपेंट्स आ रहे हैं वो कौन कौन से होंगे डज एवरी डिपार्टमेंट हैव अ मैनेजर पार्टिसिपेंट्स में इफ सो दिस इज अ पार्टिसिपेंट कॉन्स्टेंट्स द पार्टिसिपेशन ऑफ डिपार्टमेंट इन मैनेजेस इज सेट टू बी टोटल अभी हमने पहले टोटल की बात की है कि टोटल एक्चुअली क्या था आई अ रिलेशनशिप इज कॉल्ड टोटल इफ ऑल एंटिटीज ऑफ दैट एंटिटी सेट मे बी पार्टिसिपेंट इन द रिलेशनशिप दिस इज द टोटल रिलेशनशिप एंड आई टोल्ड यू व्हाट इज पार्शियल अगेन आई रिलेशनशिप इज कॉल्ड पार्शियल इफ सम ऑफ द एंटिटीज ऑफ दैट एंटिटी सेट मे बी पार्टिसिपेंट इन द रिलेशनशिप सपोज अ रिलेशनशिप लाइक मैनेजेस यू कैन सी इन द डायग्राम मैनेजेस एग्जिस्ट बिटवीन इंप्लॉयज एंड डिपार्टमेंट दिस इज अ पार्शल यू कैन सी इन द हाईलाइटेड लाइन्स एवरी एवरी डिपार्टमेंट आई डी डी आई डी मीन डिपार्टमेंट आई डी वैल्यू इन डिपार्टमेंट टेबल मस्ट अपियर इन अ रो ऑफ द मैनेजेस table with a non uh, null uh, uh, value of so uh, you can see employees manages departments and this manager since starting date of uh, employment manages works in ye manager kaam kar raha hai this is the ending uh, employed date isne yahan se leke yahan tak kaam kiya these are the employees these are the highlighted lines this is called participations Le next you can see different types of entities in this diagram entity what is entity uh, you can say entity i have a relation like relation mean a weak entity or a strong entity weak entity uh, you can see in the diagram the highlighted text or uh, you can uh, see highlighted or double lined weak entity can be identified uniquely only by considering the primary key of another next coming lectures mein aap primary key or overall keys ke bare mein uh, lecture uh, dekh lenge uh, abhi yahan pe primary key is the uniquely identified key of the table and what is the weak entity weak an entity that can exist only if another entity exist is known as weak entity 
it means that weak entities depend upon the existence of an other entity like last lecture mein humne dekha tha ki parent and network model mein parent has a child child us waqt tak exist nahi kar sakta jab tak parent maujood na ho then child is a weak entity because parent ki entity hogi then child ki entity create ho sakti hai suppose we want to store the data of a student after assigning a class to him it means that the data cannot be stored if class entity does not exist understand in order to store the record of the student we first need to create an entity that represents a class here student is a weak entity because it depends upon class entity and the entity on which the weak entity depends is called owner or identifying owner a weak entity is represented by double line square like policy or departments uh, dependents you can see employee employees policies dependents owner uh, look at this slide owner entity set and weak entity set must participate in a one to many relationship set one owner many weak entities and weak entity set must have total participation in this identifying relationship set these are the um, uh, employee is the entity in the rectangle and uh, the other is attributes attributes ke bhi bhi baat karenge hum ki what is an attribute let's see a next like a project isa is a project of a company and this is the hierarchy of this database like isa early employees contact employees two types of employees hired by isa early and contact employees contract employees has the attribute of contract id and early employees has the attribute of early wages and early worked isa employees name uh, or uh, uh, s number like uh, in c++ or other programming languages attributes are inherited if we declare a isa b every a entity is also considered to be a b entity you can see in this diagram overlap constraints can joy be a an early employees as well as a contract employees entity or covering constraints does every employees entity also have to be an early uh, employees or contract employees entity yes or no so this these are the attributes reasons for using this isa to add descriptive attributes specific to a subclass and to identify entities that participate in this class you can see uh, uh, the aggregation between these uh, entities or uh, aggregation between these uh, uh, between this uh, all over the diagram what is the uh, aggregation aggregation uh, used when we have to model a relationship involving entity set and the relationship set these are the entities projects departments and they all are have a entity set you can see student to uh, uh, next uh, aggregation allow us to treat a relationship set as an entity set for um, uh, for purpose of participation in other relationship aggregation ternary relationship monitors is a uh, distinct relationship with a descriptive attribute also can say that each sponsorship is monitored by at most one employee aggregation uh, in this diagram you can see and uh, this is the conceptual design using erd like design uh, choice you have a choice should a concept be modeled as an entity or an attribute it's up to you and the second should a concept be modeled as an entity or a relationship this cn is uh, on your hand identify relationships binary or ternary and what is aggregation so constraints in the er model a lot of data semantics can 
and should be captured but some constraints cannot be captured in uh, your diagram i will uh, uh, i will assign you an assignment after this lecture uh, and uh, post in the uh, google classroom so you can turn in uh, on the ear model ek scenario ek uh, project jo ki main assign karungi you have to make the ear diagram of this project सो नेक्स्ट एंटिटी वर्सेज एट्रीब्यूट जैसे अभी हमने एंटिटी और एट्रीब्यूट्स के बारे में देखा कि एंटिटी क्या है एट्रीब्यूट्स क्या है तो डायग्राम हर साइड में शो की है द रेक्टेंगल शेप इज कॉल्ड एंटिटी एंड द ओवल शेप इज कॉल्ड एट्रीब्यूट सिंपल शुड एड्रेसेस बी एन एट्रीब्यूट ऑफ एम्प्लॉयज और एन एंटिटी कनेक्टेड टू एम्प्लॉयज बाय रिलेशनशिप employee student employee is an entity employee name employee address employee age employee um, height all are the attributes of an um, entity and uh, you can say uh, the teacher is an entity and uh, the teacher name teacher designation teacher uh, or uh, teacher uh, uh, date of joining teacher subject these all are the attributes of a teacher student uh, attributes may have different types like simple attribute composite and attribute or single value attribute multi value attribute uh, like uh, entity have uh, different types so attribute also have a different types so simple attribute and uh, attribute that cannot be subdivided into smaller component is known as simple attribute it also called atomic attribute like a person can have only one gender so it cannot be uh, subdivided into smaller gender uh, uh, either it is uh, uh, male or a uh, female so this is simple attribute the second type of attribute is composite attribute an attribute that can be divided into smaller components is called composite attribute like uh, um, employee have an address to ye address jaise uh, first line mein aap iski example dekh rahe hain to address student can be divided into smaller component components like address uh, may have street number address may have city name address may have country name so these are divided into smaller components it is called composite attribute so uh, single valued attribute is another type of uh, attribute an attribute that may contain single value is called single valued and an attribute that may contain two or more value is called multi value attribute like uh, uh, single value attribute ki example aap le sakte hain ki age of a person jo hai wo uh, single value ho sakti hai ek kisi bhi person ki age jo hai wo uh, multiple values mein nahi aa sakti this is the example of single value attribute and multi value attribute you can say uh, a person can have two or more colleges college degrees like aapne inter jo hai wo uh, sargoda board se kiya like uh, aapne bs jo hai wo uh, university of education se kiya aur mphil jo hai wo university of punjab se kiya different contain two or more values a person contain two or more values this is called multi value attribute so multi value attribute can be represented by double line or oval in uh, i will upload a lecture on the shapes of ear model another attribute type uh, stored attribute stored attribute students that is stored in a database is called stored attribute and the derived attributes are the attributes uh, that is not stored in database but derived from another value is called derived uh, attribute uh, the other value can be stored in the database or obtained in some other way uh, you can take example like uh, roll number name and date of birth of a student can be stored in database uh, the age of a student can be derived from date of birth so this is called derived attribute uh, and uh, in general student derived attributes are uh, um, represented in oval shape but in dotted lines uh okay uh, 
डिपेंड्स अपॉन द लुक एट द स्लाइड डिपेंड्स अपॉन द यूज वी कैन वी वांट टू मेक ऑफ एड्रेस इन्फॉर्मेशन एंड द सेमेंटिक ऑफ द डेटा इफ यू हैव सिवरल एड्रेसेस पर एम्प्लॉय एड्रेस मस्ट बी एन एंटिटी आई थिंक इट विल बी अंडरस्टैंड सिंस एट्रीब्यूट कैन नॉट बी सेट वैल्यूड इफ द स्ट्रक्चर सिटी स्ट्रीट एटसेट्रा इज इम्पॉर्टेंट for example we want to retrieve employees in a given city address must be modeled as an entity uh or um, yeah, entity versus attribute uh, um, i think ye aapko bahut acche se clear ho gaya hoga but is diagram mein aap dekh sakte hain dobara se uh, employees are the entity departments entity and uh, in oval shapes all oval shapes are attribute works into does not allow an employee to work in a department for two or more periods similar to the problem of wanting to record several addresses of an employee we want to record several values of the descriptive attributes for each instance of this relationship and first year diagram okay if a manager gets a separate discretionary budget for each department your assignment will on this uh, or relating to managers what if a manager gets a discretionary budget that covers all managed departments redundancy of uh, the budget which is uh, stored for each debt managed by the managers redundancy means student uh, duplication of data d budget mean database is budget misleading suggest d budget mean database budget tied to managed department in uh, you can see in the diagram uh, year model like what is this logical database design entity sets to table simple uh, uh ye slide aapko ek query bata rahi hai how to create this uh, entity sets to a table table name employee and attributes or fields name are uh, name employee of department like query is create table employees table name employees and in brackets ssn character mean data type and the size of name is 11 character the second attribute name character character mean type or you can say data type like text type data type or character data type in ms access the type is text but in sql this is type of character 20 so uh, uh, limits the size this is a simple example of logical database design when you deploy in the uh, in a software or a database in translating a relationship to set to a relation attributes of uh, the relation must include keys for each participating entity set a foreign key foreign key uh, inshallah next may aapko next lecture aa jayega keys ka foreign key is the key that is uh, uh, that is uh, primary key in another table or a reference key this set of attributes form a super key for the relation all descriptive attributes like in this uh, uh, query set okay students these are the relations of uh, uh, key concepts of the relations one to one one to many i had discussed earlier many to one many to one and many to many and aapko iski samajh bhi bahut acche se aagi hogi iski examples ki bhi one by one maine aapko example deke bataya hai different jo queries hain sql ke andar create table humne bhi pehle dekha tha ki iski jo queries hain like create select 
to update delete are the uh, databases queries aur isko inshallah hum next jab apply bhi karenge to aap dekh sakte hain ye kis tarah se ye ek model this is the logical model aur ye physical mein kis tarah se convert hone ja raha hai uh, samne jo diagram hai er diagram jo hai uh, ye ek logical model hai इसको देखकर दिस इज अ डिजाइन दिस इज अ मैप इसको देख के आप इसको कन्वर्ट कर रहे हैं इन अ स्ट्रक्चर्ड क्यूरी लैंग्वेज और एन अदर एक्सेस डेटा बेस इज एक्सेस दिस पार्टिसिपेंट्स क्रिएट टेबल डिपार्टमेंट मैनेजर अदर नेम ऑफ डी आई डी डिपार्टमेंट आई डी डिपार्टमेंट नेम लाइक आपने डिपार्टमेंट मैनेजर नेम का एक टेबल क्रिएट किया और उसमें फिर आपने उसके जो एट्रीब्यूट्स हैं उनको लाइक दिस दिस ठीक है और जो आपने ये इन सबको क्रिएट करके तो ये इनके एट्रीब्यूट्स और उनकी टाइप्स और उनका साइज यहाँ पे आपको क्लियरली नजर आ रहा होगा तो स्टूडेंट इसमें आप देख सकते हैं कि वीक एंटिटी आप यहाँ से वीक एंटिटी को देख सकते हैं कि वीक एंटिटी आपको कहाँ से शो रही है लाइक दिस फॉरन की डिपार्टमेंट्स डिपेंडेंट्स पॉलिसी एम्प्लॉयज इज द स्ट्रॉन्ग एंटिटी एंड डिपेंडेंट इज इज द वीक एंटिटी दिस इज आई एस ए हरारकी आपने पहले देखा अब आपको आई थिंक ज्यादा अच्छे से समझ आ गई होगी दिस इज द ओवरऑल ओवरऑल डायग्राम ऑफ दिस चैप्टर general approaches three relations one employees in this diagram three relations are used uh employ early employees and the contract employees and employees inke darmiyan aapas mein relation hai means early employees mean every employees is recorded in the employees and for early employees this employees mean uh extra info recorded in early employees and early employees tuple if referenced employee tuple is deleted alternative just early employees and contract employees these are the uh, hierarchies of this relations स्टूडेंट्स अभी इन तमाम टॉपिक्स को पढ़ने के बाद अभी जैसे मैंने आपको असाइनमेंट का जिक्र किया कि इन तमाम चीज़ों को आप दे, आपने देखा बहुत अच्छे से फर्स्ट वन एंथिटी एंड देयर एट्रीब्यूट्स एंड देयर रिलेशंस एंड देयर टाइप्स ऑफ रिलेशंस मेनी टाइप्स ऑफ रिलेशंस एंड मेनी टाइप्स ऑफ एट्रीब्यूट्स एंड द टाइप्स ऑफ एंटिटीज इन तमाम की हरारकी भी आपने देखी आई हैव असाइंड यू एन असाइनमेंट on a project like management uh, project you have to prepare uh, an er diagram for a real estate firm that list property for sale these are the uh, key terms for making this project the firm has number of sales officers offices in several states first you have to uh, select or identify the entities and attributes and the relationship between these entities so uh, i will summarize this lecture aaj ka sara lecture humne dekha er model pe what is er model what is er diagrams and why we use these diagrams components of er diagram aapne acche se dekhe relationships weak entities attributes cardinality एंड ई आर डायग्राम नोटेशन को आपने देखा इफेक्टिव ई आर डायग्राम एज एन असाइनमेंट भी अब आपको मिल चुकी है आई होप कि आपको ये सारा लेक्चर समझ आ गया होगा नेक्स्ट लेक्चर इनशाला ओके अल्लाह हाफिज